put our dirty water in here. And hit this button again. And we'll get our three little dots. And again, when this turns... When this turns to blue, it's clean. And we should be able to put it in this bottle here. There we go. Drag this bottle over here. Now that bottle is full. Hey everybody, welcome back to No One Survived. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to go over some tips and tricks on the starting game. Just to uh, show you what I've learned and picked up. Uh, if you're just starting this game, maybe it'll help you get, get going in the game. So first of all, as you can see, I've got a backpack now. And the first thing you want to do, it adds, you want to make this as quick as possible, and it gives you a lot of additional storage, and it's made by cloth. We got our crafting tab, and to make this simple cloth bag, you need eight pieces of fabric. I, through my looting, I was able to get a shirt and some pants, and what I did was I cut that down, and to get eight pieces of cloth or fabric to make this bag. And to cut that down, you need to craft yourself a stone sword. This is basically just a knife. Uh, it's right here. Stone sword. All you need to make that is a wooden stick and one stone. So, very simple to make. Also, during my looting, I grabbed a couple water bottles. This one has clean water. This one has dirty water. So, once you get your... You also want to get your campfire built as quick as possible and find a pot. And we're going to pick up this log. And we're going to get this fire going. Whoops, sorry, dropped it. Like so. This is not legible, but you drag your dirty water here. You get yellow dots. Once these dots turn to blue, then your water is clean. Uh, this, I think, actually stands for boil. We're going to click that. We get these dots right over here. I think that should be boiling our water. There we go. Now we have clean water. And we should be able to drag our bottle over here. Yes, and that put water in this as clean water. So now we have two bottles of clean water. Alright, so that will just continue to burn. So, uh, to get our to get our water bottles filled up, let's see, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and drink out of this one. We're low on water anyway. And we're going to run down here to... We're going to run down here to the ocean and get water in this bottle. And I'll show you how that works because that was a question as well on how to get water in our bottles. And some of these questions I've just been reading on the Steam forums. And I had the same issues myself. So sometimes to see it in action in a video certainly helps. Alright, so here we are at the ocean. Hit my tab key. This bottle is empty. I'm going to drag it into this container. And now it is full. Three of three. Uh, let's go ahead and clean while we're here. You obviously do not want to drink this water because it's salt water. There we go. Alright, now let's head back. Head back to our little mini camp we've set up. Alright, so our fire is out. So we're going to... We're going to go back here. We're going to drag this log. It's, the nearby item shows up down here, so we can actually drag it out of here. Start our fire again. Put our dirty water in here. Hit this button again. We'll get our three little dots. And again, when this turns... this turns to blue, it's clean. And we should be able to put it in this bottle here. There we go. Drag this bottle over here. Now that bottle is full. And let's put some more dirty water in here. Now I might be able to tab out of this, take a drink, I'm hoping. That gets us uh, to 95. Nice. Now, let's see if I can get back in this. 
Oops, we have our burn, down, burn time down here for our wood. This is for food, these slots here. There we go. Now I can put my clean water in there. Now this bottle is full. And I've got one more dirty water. Maybe we can get a little more clean water in here too. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now the next thing I want to show you is this is the this processing table is another thing you want to make really quick. And let me click on it. I'm gonna pull up my hammer because we need to access our we need our hammer in order to show you where that's at. So we pull out our hammer. That's four. Hit the middle mouse wheel. And I'm going to show you where this... Once you craft that table... Actually, let me show you... Let me show you where that's at first. That is in this area right here. The book. The processing table. So once you get it crafted, pull out our hammer. Hit the middle mouse button for the build menu. And then it's located in the synthesis right here. So that's the processing table. Yeah, it takes one, I'm sorry, three logs, five stone, and one toolbox. These toolboxes are everywhere. If you've done any looting, you probably ran across them. So they are everywhere. Basically what this uh, table does, it's, it's really the same thing that's in your crafting menu that you can already craft, but I'm using it for storage. Look at all the storage we got in here. So I found some ammo, and I've been throwing in here until I get the guns. So again, I only made this just for storage. So I got all the storage. You can use it to craft arrows or whatever whenever you have the, the resources in here. But again, it's a great place for storage. You can only carry nine arrows at a time or in a stack. So I've got a couple extra here. So make this processing table early. It's good storage. It's cheaper than than trying to craft a regular, regular storage box. So I'm using this for storage because the storage box, if you pull out our hammer, again, go to our build menu, and I think it's in furniture. Yeah, it actually requires boards and simple parts just to make a simple storage box. So why not use this right here for storage? You got all the storage and it's cheap to make. Again, just wanted to show you some quick tips on some questions that I'd found in the Steam forms. How to use the water, how to use the water pot and how to boil water. And uh, starting out early, craft this, craft this knife, they call it they actually call it a stone sword, and all it takes is one wood stick and one stone. And you can use this to cut down your clothes. Any clothes you find, you right-click and dismantle for your clothes, and that'll get you this this starting backpack, and it you know gives you tons of room. I can carry my bow and my arrows. And uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, at the start of the game, I found a lot of guns, so I'm going to put this bow in my storage. I got room in here to put put my bow in here from storage and I can carry some of these guns bring them back here and then I've got ammo all ready to go so if you're like me I know you guys ran across the ammo and you're like darn I wish I had a place to put it so get that get that backpack crafted early and you'll have some room and it'll make the game much more enjoyable uh, all right guys if you like this episode and these tips make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button I'm gonna have much more videos on this game I really enjoy this game so uh again I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you in the next one Bye for now.